PGA Tour 2K23. This is the next the Synergy Championship at Jackson Homestead.
Yeah. Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm looking forward to bringing you the action from the ground level for this week's featured group. Now there's a sense of heightened competition this week and this player has mentioned that they're starting up a rivalry this week with their playing partner. So it appears this player's target is to beat Ricky this Fowler week. this week. That should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Yeah, Ricky Fowler sounds like he's up for the challenge on social media. He's been talking about this rivalry. Is Ricky ever not up for the challenge though? He'll smile as he's beating you, that's for sure. Yes, likes to kill him with kindness, does our Ricky. He's oh. a, a wonderful fella on and off the course. And with a renewed confidence in his game, the new father's looking to shine here. This will be a tough challenge for our rivalry. A birdie putter waits. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He's currently tied for third. Now with the honor on a par five. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, oh. next hole, looking for more. Well, this should find the short grass. Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know what the consequences are if you don't pull off that shot well shame on you so i think that the veterans obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say oh i don't want to miss it there because that's dead i've seen it happen before when you go into a new golf course luke you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side don't get too greedy don't try and make too many things happen go in there find some fairways find some greens Hole a few putts here and there. Get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins. Going with the seven. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Currently two uh -huh. under for the day. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Unbelievable. Ah. Ah. Oh, in one, ahead. motherfucker. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, hello. Worth another look, shall we? Hole in one. I could watch this on repeat. Oh. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Tie now. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. What can you say about an ace, Luke? It doesn't get any better than that. This player, however, really needs to focus in and bear down because they are still in cloud nine after making that one. This should play. Come on. Bounce in that hole. Yeah. That goes down for an ace. Well, that's worth reviewing. <laughs> Let's roll the video tape. Well, Luke, I think he's found his distance. Ah. Uh. Now 
Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Coming off an eagle at the last. Momentum on their side for this player. Fire in the hole. That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the sixth. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by two. That's incredible. Well, that was like a laser straight at it. It's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. This is their look at birdie. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That's tidy. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Oh, wow, I went over it. Not a bad play, that one. Chance to move to eight under here. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies. Ooh, right by the hole. And this putt coming up for his par. Nice stroke. Leading by three strokes now. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Should find the green here. Fight! This would be a great up and down. Didn't that look good for a long time? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. There it is. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently in top spot. And not a bad approach, that one. Up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup. That was a gallant attempt. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. That gets the job done. And Rich, we're heading into the back nine now, but I'm still thinking about that ace on the front. What a yep. beauty that was. Unreal. I, I got to say, to watch that ball go into the hole was awesome. This player is still flying high. That one's heading down Broadway. Oh. Already a winner this season. <laughs> Number two would be very nice here today. <coughs> Pretty good shot there. And here we are with the third shot. Currently leading by three. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. 
Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. He sits in first position. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Mass potatoes. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. 105 yards. Oh, this one has gone right in the, the hole. Green. Maybe not. That was special. Birdie at the last. This for another. I don't mind the look of this. Well, look who's getting on a roll now. That's big. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do. You can't close the door because there's no one else here. What? This hole is a par three. Is it one you I should know. attack? We'll play the smart shot. What? What? What is she doing? What did he do to her?
Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Molly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five iron here. Well, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ouch, that hurts. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400-plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. This is what they have left for a par. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. This one's going right at the pin here. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And this is quality play, still on top we'll, of the leader. We will be playing all four rounds. Let's begin the 14th. Mass potato! That's heading for the fairway. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Murray. I'm gonna ha na um ma na na. <sighs> oh, standing ovation after that shot. Heck of a shot, setting up almost a guaranteed birdie. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Oh, you're going to be hard to catch tap now tap. if you can tap tap. Tap tap. Tap tap. He's feeling it. Currently 11 under par for the round. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Ah, chicken sandwich. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Come on, Mama. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. An eagle putter waits. Oh, no! No, oh, that's too bad. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and seems so in this case. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Currently in first position. I'm going to do something that is never and done before. Get the birdies the whole, whole second round. Hopefully you can do it. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in that hole. Get in that hole. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's some good golf right there. 
And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. I'm just going to hit it there and... Ba -na -na -na, na -na -na. Oh, no, He's no, no. Line. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Yeah, well, he could catch up to that. Now at the 17th hole. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Taking nope. aim from about 220 yards out. Ha! Come on, get in there. Oh, yeah. It's headed right for it, baby. Right in that hole. Nope. shot. Almost went in the bucket. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Little birdie look in here. It's on a good line. That's a lovely putt to make for birdie. Take some pride in that one. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18th. Look, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. This one might roll into the rough. And what are we looking at here, Henny? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. to be going with the five iron. Well, this one's right at the pin. Come on. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Gotta like their chances from there. A chance for a booty if this goes down. Oh, nice looking putt. That signs off on this player's performance for the day. They've got to be pleased with that performance in first place at the completion of their first round. Who doesn't like to be the leader? It's always good. No matter the first round, you'd rather have it the last round, though. But i got to say, good start. On behalf of Rich Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Yeah.
Oh, okay. Huh. 
Here we go. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Bean. And Rich, Woo! this player has been doing really nicely, building that solid advantage over the field. But today's just as important as the first few, isn't it? Well, you always have to love somebody who's got a big, fat lead in their chances. But listen, we're playing golf, and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose out in front and keep doing what they're doing because if they even remotely slow down and think uh, about it, the uh, it's all over. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead with Brooke Henderson following in second. Here we are at the second tee. That's a 300 yard pure. shot. Ooh, staying aggressive, going for the green. All right. Oh, well done. What's birdie, in front birdie, of birdie. with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill. Bit of extra juice needed. Looking great now. Come on. Oh, what an excellent ah! time to make a big putt like that. Fly, and you go fly. Just what happened. Fly. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now, and this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build Dr. Chimpanzee. The they've created. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Ah. Playing from around 160 yards. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yeah, get in that hole. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Oh, what about this start? Trying to make a statement early and often. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead with Brooke Henderson following in second. You've reached a par three. Let's keep our laser Dude, focus. Dude, if I can get birdie or like, you know, like hall. Looks to have chosen Holy. the center line. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. This player Just is roll. making a Just statement stop. with that approach shot. I think this rivalry with Ricky Fowler is really inspiring him to fire at those flags. Beautiful shot. This guy is putting uh. the lights out of it this week. And still in top spot. I love you all. Keep it going. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Second shot here on the fifth. Looks to be going with the six iron. Hmm. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Six feet remaining to the cup. It's half a chance of being hold this one. And that's their fourth booty of the day. 
Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Yeah, I guess you got the eagle. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Coming off a birdie at the last, looking to add another one. Nicely done. One win is good, but two wins would be great. And from the green Shit. side rough here. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Yeah, that one will play. Seven feet to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. What a nice Come on. Line. That yeah. Will drop and he will extend the lead. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now. And this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. That's a good-looking shot there. Second shot here on the seventh. That dog will hunt. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Come on, yeah! Super shot, that. Never done before, bro. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, we've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Wow. Come what on. A shot. Oh. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Like the look of this one. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Seven out of nine holes. He's currently sitting in first place. Time now to begin the ninth hole, Rich. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Great looking oh shot, this. Getting ready to play their third. Come on, oh go in! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. And it's time to recap that play. I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. Ah. Oh. Eight out of nine birdies. And I was like, shit, and then I was like, God, it went in. So, Rich, give us a halftime report. 
Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. Quality shot, that one. Time for the second shot at the 10th. And here we are with the third shot. Ah, yes. Really had that shot dialed in. <coughs> Three feet to go here to the hole. And the putt drops. And Never on. doubted a he second. In first position. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Birdie at the last hole. Can he make it two in a row? Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Shit. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, <coughs> but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. An opportunity for a booty here. Come on. I can't believe this. Is this going to go in? That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. <laughs> Tiger. Still in the lead now after that hole. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. This is looking pretty good in the air. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Putting for birdie here. It's tracking. He's making this look easy. And it's in. He's surging ahead. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That's not the one he wanted. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Yeah. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead with Brooke Henderson following in second. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Going with the seven. This one is chewing fiber. It is, and it's oh. going to go out. Oh, 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 oh. That was the right club on the right line. That's a super shot. That's another green in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. We have a par five on this one.
Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Gotta be aggressive. Love this play out here. Come on, get on that green a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's showcasing That's exactly now, what you want. Using the big muscles that's to exactly, get That's together. how you do it, y'all. This there. is a training video for all you young he's people. He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. They're staring this down for Eagle. Oh, just missed. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And just yep. keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Doesn't matter, I got that bird! Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Nice birdie back uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. On to the next. We put oh. a little fade on this. Look at that. That's an up and down. Boom. Oh, well played. Into birdie range here at the 16th. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Yep, tracking well. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Dude, I, 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 it's like unbelievable. It's never been done before. And now that finds him in first place. I haven't bogeyed once. <laughs> I'm not good at golf. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. You just see me in real life. I'm like this in real life. I'm the best at golf in real life. <laughs> Handy effort, that one. Seems to oh. be the three wood. This needs to go a little bit right once it lands. Yeah, I know. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, God. I could have missed one here. But I'm just... Cutting it kind of close. That's a fine effort, that one. You always want to putt those ones stone dead. Managing okay. to maintain their position on the leaderboard. One par out of 18 holes. 16 and now striding at 18 hole of this round well that's a handy shot going with the hybrid and see of that damn sun we go getting ready to play their third Wow, that almost went in the hole. This putt for par here. Looking better. The putt drops, and this player is finished for the day. See you, Rick. You're out. And through 36 holes, this player continues to shine out there in top spot. They are. They're in a great spot. They can't quite get too relaxed as of yet, as there's a lot of golf yet to play. So they really need to focus in going into that next round. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports. Hmm.
Oh boy. Uh, definitely keep the damn things on. Oh boy. Hmm. I gotta not buy anything. Tiger! All right, we're going to continue with round three.
2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, as this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts, if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Let's see ah. what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Out a boy, good shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Well played, mate. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. Oh, that's a nice line. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Currently in first position. Here we have a par five. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. It might be an ambitious Fuck play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Too much. And here we are with the third shot. Just six feet between here and the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. A good stroke. Well, that'll play. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Bada nice bing, bada boom. And they're playing from about bada bing, bada boom. Yards out. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Oh, almost went in. Oh, how good was that? Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. He's currently sitting in first place. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. And choosing the eight iron here. That's gonna find the water, sadly. That's a chunky lie. It's gonna take all their talents to get out of this one. He's gonna have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. I'm like, all right, that was good. 334 the yards. Well, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. Oh, good look at Birdie here. That 
That's a good way to bounce back from the drop shot at the last hole. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Still in the lead now after that hole. Here we are at the sixth hole. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. Ah. Good shot there, Beamer. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, absolutely flushed. Butting for birdie. Mark it down. That's birdie wow. number five. Back to back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Wow, look at it. That was wonderfully done. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Oh, so no. close. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just a four footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. A mystery. Yep, you'll take that. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And we've arrived at a par three. Opting for the five iron. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. All right, so I had to go over just a tiny bit. Way too much. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. And this one is for his par. Ooh, nice line. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. Thank you, thank you. And now that finds him in first place. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That might be one club too many. Ah. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. This one's online. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. sits in first position and after a birdie at the last they take the honor on the hole this one's looking good off the tee that should find the short stuff second shot here on the tenth hole just over and here we are with the third shot Oh, I thought that one was going in. 
Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. We've arrived at a par four hole. Oh, that's pipes. You hear the ball whistle the off the damn thing, man. Here we have Jesus. the second shot into the 11th. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. This putt's about four feet from the hole. This is their look at birdie. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Still in the lead now after that hole. We have a par three on this one. Going with the eight iron here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Just didn't drop. Big putt for par coming up. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Well, 13th, it's unlucky for some, Rich. <laughs> Playing from around 190 yards out. Yeah, that one's looking good. Oh, boy. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. This putt is about eight feet. Nice line. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Wow, that was just striped. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got... Mm, I'd say a solid 145 here. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. 12 feet to the cup coming up. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. If it's up, it could be in. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently in first position. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. They've had a chat with the caddy and they're going for it. This one's on. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. Air mailed the green with that approach. Well, these are good putts to make. Good for momentum, right on seven feet. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Yeah. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. 
Good sounding strike that one. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green and reg here. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. <laughs> uh, great shot. This one is all over it. Come on. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And this yeah. is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that, Booty. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Nicely done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Oh, yeah. That's well played. Pin high. And a fantastic look upcoming. This putt coming up is for Birdie. And that will do it for this player today. Yes. Well, I don't know about you, Rich, but I've been in absolute awe of this player's performance. Has built a huge advantage going into the final round. Yes, you always want to be in first place going into the final round. In saying that, it can be uncomfortable as well. We'll have to see how this player tomorrow handles the pressure. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, Henny Koyak and John McCarthy, plus all the hard-working folks behind the action at 2K Sports, Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. We can buy him one of those balls, yeah. We're going to continue this event. It's the fourth and final round of this event. We may be playing another event as well. I don't feel like taking a break off COD tonight and just chilling. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's there we coverage go. of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer begins the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Oh. Even with this massive lead, there is no lead large enough, I have to say. It's a very uncomfortable situation because there's only one place to go, and that's down. So this player has got to be aware of that, go out and try and play as rock solid the first three or four holes as humanly possible to continue that lead. Looking forward to this, Rich. Let's get into the action. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. How many times are they going to say and that? And that's a nice strike. Whole... This one should find a fair way. Well, you'd have to think this person's got a head full of confidence, Rich, coming off a last start win. 
The game is coming easy to this player right now, so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week. Outstanding shot. High quality. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Oh, well home for Eagle. Just the start they were looking for, Luke. Oh, wow. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. What a shot from that nasty lie. Wow. Should be proud of that. This one's for Birdie. If I can get it. Oh my God. Like, no way. Well, that's a bit disappointing. A par putt on the table. This is looking solid. What they wanted. Oh, wow. That's frustrating. And this one will be for Bogey. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Get over that. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, it looked like it was not going to make it. Coming up here at the four. The ball went in the water yesterday. Look, he's like, oh, damn, I'm going to get today. Shot. This putt is of nine feet. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. Setting the tone early in this round. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. That should find the surface. Oh, that's incredible. It's yeah, in the yeah, hole. yeah, wow, yeah, what yeah, say? yeah, Holding yeah, 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 <laughs> Currently in first position. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Pretty good shot there. How close was that to going down? Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Oh, that's a great approach shot. What an opportunity to make a birdie. <laughs> Better than most. Nice one. 
fourth birdie of the day. Got to like it. Two in a row. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. A yeah, tidy looking shot, that one. And he's hit that inside the range. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Ha, da, da. Looking good. Oh, he's on fire today. Ain't Julia nobody Bosley better than Jesse Cavanaugh from Ireland. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody better. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And he's no, no, down no, there. No, no, no. Setting up here from about 175 yards. Oh, that one's straight Oh, up the baby, get in. Tell you what, they've got their rhythm going there. That's another green in reg. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Surely it's going to. Ooh. It's just about three feet away. Nice little par putt here. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Put themselves right back in position to win straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good vibes coming from that last win. I expect more of the same this week. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? I want to hit a little bit more than that. Yeah. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Setting up this putt 20 feet from the cup. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Big chance here. That was a gallant attempt. Oh. That's disappointing. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. That's tidy. Yep. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. An opportunity to make a par here. This one's dialed in. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. And after <laughs> that performance, they'll stay right where they <laughs> are in the standings. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. This player is making a statement with that approach shot. I think this rivalry with Ricky Fowler is really inspiring him to fire at those flags. Mark it down. That's six points. No, oh, Ricky today. Fowler is already cut, bro. This is the fourth. This is the final round, man. Managing to maintain their We're already, on the already on the final round. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here on today. On the 13th. In this final round of action. Lovely momentum for, for this five player. Five left to go. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And what are we looking at here, Henny? 
where you can club down. Everything's all in front of you as it runs into this downhill green. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. That's pretty tidy. Oh, that's a ripper. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Yeah. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And I don't know Four if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final left round of to go. That should find the cut stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Damn, I could have done better oh, than that. So oh. Close to going in. oh, my. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And that's eight birdies today. No movement huh. up or down on the leaderboard for this player. But this is quite an astonishing With performance. Three by holes the left to go. To double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Mm. That's Slap a nice shot that Diddy. Second shot here on the 15th. Well, they look like they're taking this on in two. Yep, I am. Because I'm that damn good. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. And he's down there. You got to read? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Oh, yeah, gentle, gentle. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Yep. He's going to be minus 60. First Beautiful. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. That could play. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, well, hold. He'll take the birdie. And this is quality oh, play. He knows, top of the leaderboard. he knows what's coming. Two holes he to know, go, he Luke. Knows Can they hang what's coming. on? Let's find out. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Buck. This one's going right at the pin here. Drop in. Well, oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th. It sets up another putt inside birdie range. A seven footer right here. Looking for another birdie here. Yep, tracking nicely. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back to back yep. birdies. Back to back birdies go. in the right direction. One there. hole left. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Ah. Right over them. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. That's some good golf right there. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. Ladies and Rolling gentlemen. End end this look and that'll do it. Holds it for the win. If one is good, two is twice as nice, isn't it? Two wins on the season for this player. Awesome stuff. <laughs> mm. And it's worth taking another look at that one.
And Rich, that seemed like a leisurely waltz to victory, didn't it? Didn't break a sweat on the way yeah, to victory yeah, lane. Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. say, <laughs> I love it. It was so easy and smooth. It was a work of art. Well, that was a thrilling day. And on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for your company. We look forward to the next time you join us. Fifty birdies. Six eagles. I should have gotten paid. Hmm. Shriners children open, yeah. All right, here we go. We will be starting and playing this. These golf courses are amazing. Here we go with the opening. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's Woo! a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi, Luke. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you the action from the golf course for this week's featured group. Now, Fuck. there is a sense of maybe fear, heightened competition this week, as this player has said that they're starting up a rivalry with their playing partner. And this week, Henny, they're looking to beat Harold Varner III. It should be an exciting and entertaining duel. <laughs> Absolutely, Luke. Harold Varner III is one of the most charismatic, talkative, and highly skilled players out there wow. on tour. He'll either cut you down with his game or his slick talking. You better be on your guard. Yes, he's got a sharp tongue and a clever game. Let's see how HV3 goes up against this player in this rivalry. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waist area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less of this green All right, as it will yep. release down the slope. Just three feet to the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Currently one under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. 
The third hole at no. TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. From around 180 yards out. Going with the six iron here. <laughs> well, their greens are big. I like yeah, the greens done. that are big. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. All right, a little bit more. Ooh, right by the hole. A par putt awaits. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently one under for the day. Man, the fourth could have made that. The TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole. Just be accurate on approach. That one's heading down Broadway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Well struck. Make this putt, and you'll move into second on the leaderboard. Second on the leaderboard. Very difficult to make because of the wind There's and it lie. Three feet to go oh. here to the hole. Okay, steady now. Wow, bro. Putting for a bogey. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. The fifth at TPC Terrible. Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for birdie at the fifth. A spot in the top ten awaits if they can make this putt. Well played. And what a way to jump into the top ten. Just one off the lead after that hole. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Come on. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That is one of the best shots you will see. Oh, you love to see those shots. Oh, yeah. What a play. He's in a now we're moving. Place. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Around 110 yards to go. Only one shot off the pace. Ah. Oh. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Go. Oh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Great touch. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Mamar. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three, playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. 
Ouch, that hurts. Wow. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. That should find the fairway. Playing from around 240 yards. Just two shots behind. Going with a three wood here. Looks like they're definitely going for it. Mm, yeah. Thank God the greens are huge. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. Go in. Oh my, oh well, my. So That'll sting a bit. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this part. Yeah, this is looking nice. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that. All right, one, two, we've taken our, our second course Nine holes down break to let my dogs outside their performance so far we'll be right back Look, so far so good against their rival but let's face it there's a lot of golf yet to be played however i'm thinking as they say in the movie are you not entertained
Oh. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Choosing the nine iron here. That was a beauty. Seven feet to the cup. This for back to back birdies. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. And yes. that will take him to four under. It's amazing. Our current leader is enjoying a one I believe lead. after this first round, we will be going to some Ghost Recon. Placement off the tee is required. At the and then we can always come back the 11th hole, par to four, the golf. Measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Little birdie look in here. Oh, Jack's yeah. Playing. Six birdies in a round. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Come on, get down. Lovely effort, that. Lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will take him to six under. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with the tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you've given yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. Well, I need a nice, nice bouncy. Nice bouncy. Bam, bam, bam. Well, that's certainly yep. showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. 19 feet to the hole. Come on, don't be shy. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Our current leader is up by three shots. The 14th at TPC Sumlin hey. is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a Bada bing, bada boom. This one looks to be in a pretty good line. To a nine foot chance here. Looks good. Yeah, nice mid range birdie putt, that one. Oh, yeah. Leading by four strokes after that one. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a I got all mad about it. An eagle. It's a good, great shot. What's in front of them, Henny? This one will run uphill. Yeah, it will run uphill. But... Now that's I think we can get it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Now five shots up after that hole. The 
Only five, man. See Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. The well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. For an eagle. All right. Drum roll, please. If that's the right pace. This should drop. That's outstanding. What a putt. Nah, 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 that was a touch nah, nah, of class. Nah. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. What an amazing putt from way out. <laughs> oh, the cold, oh my God. Oh. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. Ah. Opting for the six iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Oh, too much. And okay, it's though. safely on the green with that shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 19 feet from the cup. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. All right, you'll make it the next time. And that should secure the par on this one. Now seven strokes up after that hole. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444 yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. A chance for a booty if this goes down. And that'll be all she wrote. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, way yeah, to yeah. The opening round out in front. The leader sounds great. Luke, big lead through the opening 36, but no time to get complacent. There's still a lot of golf to play, and they need to continue to make birdies in order to finish. Yes. All right, we're going to end that.